letting you down. my muscles roundhouse kick smash the bad guys that come my way what did you do to get her attention what you mean she just likes you for some reason yo dude you're so lucky i'm so jealous i would kill for that that would be so cool imagine if me and you and a dime were friends just watch her beat up bad guys all day long Undyne and her sidekick monsters I can just hear our theme song Come on, we might be able to catch up with her Small human, it's your true friend, Papyrus. If he 
feels like about 15 minutes since the two of us have spoken last. Most likely because it has been. How did I get this number? I dialed every number in sequence until you picked up the phone. I just wanted to see how you were faring. Also unrelated and I asked this for a friend, but what are you wearing? Good luck, small human.
wait till I tell all my friends That Undyne picked me up right by the face Dude, I'll totally be the coolest monster on the playground Hey, you're not gonna tell my parents about this uh, Are you? It doesn't hurt, are you one? Are they all over? Or only in the night sky? And will I ever get to see Too, too. Do you come here often? What's that look for? Are you surprised? I told you I'd keep an eye out, didn't I? Oh, this thing, it's my side hustle. Fifty grand for a peek at the stars. Well, I say stars, but really, some sparky mineral on the bottom of this rock we're trapped under. Play a game of fake moon, real moon, and here's a hint, it's always fake. But, you know, where's the fun in that? So I can't tempt you, well, that makes sense. Betcha it can't compare. It's for the best Cause my policy Is absolutely no refunds There are a lot of pranksters out there too I mean, some jokester could have covered the eyepiece of this telescope or something And you'd never know until it was too late So probably made the right decision. Too. It's perfect because no one in their right mind would ever wear such a thing. Such an outfit would be most improper when in audience with the king. You needn't worry with the great papyrus on your 
your side Although it greatly pains me to tell such lies I know it's the right thing to do Human or monster, I must protect my friends Even if it means I just wish everyone could be friends With everyone Well, that just means I'll work twice as hard To make it so I won't rest until I do that's a papyrus promise. Take care, human. Yeah. And Sans, quit slacking and get back to your sentry station. Sure thing, bro. Children, right this way. That path is slick. Take care, you don't slip. We don't want anyone getting hurt on a barely authorized class field trip. I thought in lieu of this morning's lesson plan. Take a walk down through the wetland There's a statue up ahead that tells the story You're learning about in your history book So long ago, before the war Before any of you were even born Hush of peace One day fractured and cracked What happened if humans attacked? Why would they do that? Ironically, why would they hurt us? Greatest strength was in the first weakness They were so overwhelmed in magic class How strong their souls are He turned to satire Exceptions, boss monsters. But only two of those now remain. Come along now, children. We'll continue this lesson when we get to the memorial statue. Don't be so sad. Chin up now.
Don't be an idiot. Oh, as real. I, I, I'm sorry. I. Tell me about the sun. The sun. It's bright. Too bright to look at. Mom, 
imagine. <laughs> Children don't poison their parents. <laughs> Kara. Why do you hate the surface so much? The real monsters are up there, Ezreal. It said, we thought... <laughs> Children, you made a simple mistake. Oh, Angel, now I see buttercups in parentheses. I'm sorry, Mom, we're both so sorry. I told you it was a simple mistake. I am sorry I lost my temper with you. I did not mean to yell. Just concerned mistakes are not failure if we have learned Why such a dour move? Dad, you're okay Well, of course I'm okay Kara and I were so afraid Gory, what are you doing out of bed? <laughs> no escaping, Nurse Mom <laughs> It'll take more than that to put your old dad out of commission. I appreciate the gift and I admire your ambition. But from now on, no more baking without an adult to help you. And we won't, Dad. <laughs> I know, son. I trust both of Cover just fine. Your mother and the good doctor will take great care of me, I'm sure. But we're lucky, your dad's so strong. That amount of toxin can be very deadly for a smaller monster. Promise me you two will never go near those buttercups again. We were lucky this time, but they're awfully dangerous. Uh, we promised that. Right, Kara? Yes, Mr. Dreamer. Kara? My child, I know that you're upset. Just know we do not blame you for a simple mistake. love I get from you three or how perfect things could be despite everything it's still me Kara don't say that my child that's not true it's okay you don't have to lie I know you can't know something that's not true I know things look but this too shall pass One day we'll all forget this even Forget is to pretend it never happened Forgetting is a lie My child, you're only human Asgore! No, don't worry, it's a human expression It means you're not expected to be flawless I can't say I remember that one Is that really a saying? about 
about this later But now I think it's time for the patient To get back in bed Of course dear. Uh. Why are parents so gross?
let's find out We'll have to get wet But as long as we dry off before we get home Come on, Stone and Ken up with you so I can show you my fan art. Yo, dude, you finally did it. You've got a front row seat to Undyne's fight. Hey, who's she fighting anyway? Hey, you're not gonna tell my parents about this, uh, are you? Wise to slink away, true move when one has debts to pay, but no sense in stalling or delay when one 
savagery is on full display. You prance around as if this were a game. Bring scandal and dishonor to my family name. Under such a humble grin, and what a shame. I had to wipe it right off your face. Surely you've heard a tale of my kind before. Round the campfire they tell the tale, I'm sure. All know of the ghost who lives inside a dummy. Tradition that goes back for years and years Showing nothing is as simple as it appears For example, it seems nice, but it's actually kind of crummy Hearts you set upon A cousin of mine Though you did not land a blow There I draw the line So boring that he fell fast asleep. All in all, he claimed it was an awkward couple of seconds. Thus, I vanquish you to avenge you. On guard, on guard, on guard! Hold up, whoa, wait, what was that noise? Don't even try to tell me you didn't hear that. No, you don't think this place is haunted, do you? No way, bro. I'm out of here. I did not sign up for that. Oh, I'm sorry. I interrupted. Soon as I showed up, your friend left. the dump. It's my element. I guess I'll just head home. Feel free to come if you want to. No pressure, no worries, just offer.
those Those are my moon discs Yeah, I, I'm a ghost writer and I DJ on the weekends Oh, you, you wanna hear what I've been working on Oh, okay, sure, I mean... Kind of sketchy, but what do you think? You look like you've just seen a ghost. Was it that bad? You wanna hear another? Now that one's stronger, but it doesn't have a ghost of a chance getting played at Maddie's Club. Uh, this one I'm actually kind of happy with. I like to lie on the floor and feel like garbage for hours. Wanna join? There's plenty of room if you want. I'm so weird, you were so nice and I'm just some freak I guess I'll just kinda leave now before I make it worse so much for a chance to make up for how weird I was before Combination Boring
ways have mean complacent, but I'm that too. <laughs> This old turtle's been around since back when Folk and monsters share the surface The bones of mine have felt the wind and rain and snow And these old eyes of mine, they witnessed the violent it all fell apart. So ask away. What do you want to know? Come on, spit it out. <laughs> Not the talkative sort, but I can tell you look the curious type. Be my guest. I'm a wide open book. Go ahead. Trapped below, and the circle's something else. Beats me what? Some say it's the angel from the prophecy, the prophecy of freedom. Catch your name, huh? Of course you have to be a bit careful When you talk about the prophecy Little ones like you like to listen in. For a little one, you're pretty determined I haven't seen that soul trait in darn near a coon's age What's a soul trait? What do they teach you in school? Self-explanatory Every color has a predominant trait Orange for strength Everything love can be used for good or bad. It can be a powerful force for others. Humans used to have a saying. I don't know if they still do. When something. Never 
two feet from his wife Nuzzling noses, being all cuddly Embarrassing his children And the rest of us, to be honest As tragic as it was the day she left It was sort of a relief Enough lovey-dovey stuff is enough to make anyone sick Don't let this dark stuff get you down Even the dark and glow to light the way As much as people talk about the war It was a different world Maybe the real reason's lost to time is too steep to climb I could pretend to have the answers But then again Down here the losers write the history books Take that right Now if you'll excuse me, I gotta get back to digging And you should probably run along to whatever it is young it's like you do nowadays I swear I had hair the last time I was in touch with what the young monsters were into or humans, for that matter, huh? Anyway, 
But while I have you on the line, there's some things I'd like to say. Six souls, one, two, three, four, five, six, and yours make seven hellion. Sure, human souls are strong, can they stop a monster rebellion? For generations, we have dreamt of being in the sunlight. And since you're new here, I'll let you in a little monster insight. We wretched humans fought and killed and slain, destroyed each other. We monsters found the secret to unite with one another. And that freedom sits mere inches away from our desperate grasp. And I refuse to let you stand between us and open sky You, you're standing right in the way of Everybody's hopes and dreams Hiding behind that kid so you can have another chance to run away from me You're nothing but a spineless coward with your whippy goody two shoe stick You think just cause you hug random strangers Show you mercy. No, kid, here's some truth instead. We'd all be better off if you were dead. Your continued existence is a crime. I can feel everyone's hearts beating as one. With that strength, we cannot lose. Now die already, little brat! Yo, Undyne, I totally caught up with you. <laughs> you still need to see my. Yo, Snowden kid, are you okay? What happened, dude? Don't worry, Undyne will help, kid. Get out of here, get out of the way. That human's very dangerous. Hey, yo, don't! If you want to hurt my friend, I won't let you. You'll have to fight both of us. Dude, are, are you okay? Yo, you don't have to be scared She's gone, I chased her off See, it's just us Man, that was so crazy You're my newest friend And you almost got hurt Dude, I've never this before but yo you're a human aren't you yo dude I knew it that's insane I mean she just said it but I had a feeling I guess that means we're enemies right but yo, you're my friend, aren't you? <laughs> cool. Bye.
better Friends than enemies, yo Man, my parents must be worried sick Dude, I've got to go Dude, to be honest, maybe Undyne Maybe she's not really as cool as we thought I mean, she's just kinda mean, yo She attacked you and you didn't even really do anything I don't know But yo, on my way here I ran into someone so much cooler Yeah! <laughs> See you later, dude Golly, you just don't know when to quit. Oh, enough with the dramatics. Perhaps you like pain more than you'd care to admit. <laughs> Your secret's safe with me. <laughs> Here I thought the czar of the future would be vine crowned. A suicide little kid. Golly, there's a lot of that going around Don't get cocky, I'm wise to what you're up to I know your secret, remember Took me a bit, but I figured out what you're gonna do I'm no idiot All these savior types Try so hard to save everyone have fun You're the teacher I the pupil You taught me the rules So the instructor needs a quick refresher Okay Love and mercy are Not really human are you I can tell You're dead inside like me Even after all the years and Souls there in your eyes Playing for all to see We can change fate Right So let's burn them all to the ground Every one of them Turn them all into dust Till there's nothing to be found That's a wonderful idea At first I admit I was a little confused Take away my godlike control of time And my ego gets bruised I'm a shrinking violet Well, the power is yours Your will overrides mine The world is in your hands And I think I know your intentions just fine That old hag thought she could change the rules Same with that Always kill or be killed Ruthless, no mercy Let's show them the meaning of a little spring cleaning Let's destroy all their tomorrows Got yourself a cheering section Good luck Greetings, small human, I hope I have not caught you at a bad time It's just I'm thinking about how much you remind me of a friend of mine She's just like you, but tall and also a fish You, me, and her should hang out sometime Don't fret.
that. The Great Papyrus is an excellent judge of character. After all, I judged your character, and it's fantastic. There's no reason deep down that the three of us can't be the very best of friends. Just stop by her house whenever you feel ready. You can't miss it. It's... it's a giant fish. Yeah. Human, I'm so glad you showed up Literal seconds after being invited I'm so happy you and Undyne will make such fair weather friends I know you two didn't start off on the best of terms But trust your buddy Papyrus You'll get along great, with so much less murder. Well, if it isn't my good friend Papyrus... Yeah, greetings, Undyne. I'm pretty glad to see you. I could use a friendly face. Well, today is your lucky day, cause I brought a new friend for Oh, you have, have you? Indeed. Undyne, meet your new friend. So pleased to... Is this some kind of joke? No, this is a human. My slovenly brother's the one who makes the jokes. Who will get along famously I see before me the best of chums It doesn't matter that things started heinously What came before matters not to what comes Years from now you'll look back at this rocky start And in your heart you'll see how far you've come from this minor realm Oh, I'm such a fool, I put socks in the dryer And my bathroom on fire Why are you here to gloat and cheer To rub your victory in my nose Destroy everything we hold dear And kick the corpse down a hole To rot and decompose Well then you little punk I've got some news for you You're on my turf now And I make the rules The two of us are gonna hang out Become the greatest friends And you'll become so enamored with me You'll be the one who's humiliated, not me Why don't you take a seat And relax It's so very nice to have you over Let's shoot the breeze and talk about how we feel Ask dumb questions where we already know the answer the recipe after Pretend each other's days weren't average Oh, can I tempt you with a refreshing drink? You must be thirsty after all of that running around It's so healthy, you're staying so active Destroying our dreams, but hey, it's the thought that counts Hey now, don't even try to get up, you're the guest, gosh darn it Just point to what you want and I'll get it for you Look at the two of us, we're obviously friends This place has never seen a pair of besties like you and I We only just met, you say, well clearly that depends I've been waiting to take your soul for years So it's no word of a lie Your soul's destiny is to set us monsters free And my destiny is to be the one to take it When you think about it, that's quite a link so anyway, how about that drink? Are you flirting with me? 
I'll pretend I didn't see that golden flower tea coming right up. It'll take a friendly while for the friendly water to boil, friend. It's friendly done. Be careful, friend, it's hot. Okay, it's not that hot, just drink it. It's funny you chose that tea That's Asgore's favorite too And honestly, now that I think about it You kind of remind me of him You're both total weenies, first of all Sort of anyway you stood the cowering was less dignified but reminds me of him i was a hot head when i was a kid fighting everyone even the main man <laughs> to prove i was the very strongest i tried to challenge as go to a fight emphasis on try I couldn't land a single blow on the guy It was embarrassing While the whole time He refused to fight me back When all was said and done I was so humiliated But Asgore just stood there smiling at me The big guy apologized And as I turned to leave he asked Do you want me to teach you how to beat me? And he did from then on, he was my personal trainer And I remember the day I finally knocked him down He looked so proud, also in pain How I became captain of the Royal Guard Here, want some milk for your tea Let me get it, that's what friends do after all I wouldn't even force my worst enemy to be subjected to a frosty cold meal Alfie's rigged my fridge so the longer it stays on The hotter it gets inside The only element that's missing from this frolic Is friendship bracelets while we style each other's hair Let's describe our favorite TV shows in a way that's hyperbolic Has the sun ever shown on a more iconic pair? Hey, you like the sword I almost slaughtered you with Nice and sharp, perfect for extracting souls Made to be especially effective against red ones Yeah, humans suck, but their history Is kinda awesome with their giant swords and cat girls Their red explosive giant mega fights Their robot wars and their robot prey so smart. She taught me all about human history. There's still much to learn. We're only up to just after the second impact. That's why I do it. People like her. People like that kid I heard cause I was careless. People like papyrus ones who can't help themselves. Smaller, younger, innocent, defenseless people like you. I always knew my job was to protect and serve the underground. Ever since I was a little punk, I always strove to do the right thing. Don't tell him I said this But I don't think I could ever let that guy join the royal guard I mean he was supposed to capture you And he ends up befriending you instead He's too nice and innocent I could never send him into battle That's why I've been teaching him how to cook Spaghetti's all I know how to make You know it's funny You have a habit of reminding me of all my friends And it makes it hard Very 
hard to want to hurt you Honestly at first I hated your sugar-coated saccharine shtick But I get the feeling now You're not just a weenie You're a weenie with heart Just like all of my friends that makes you one I'm probably gonna really, really regret this Did someone say friends? What a wonderful development! You were just there the whole time? <laughs> the Great Papyrus is capable of taciturn silence when sneakiness is called for. The joy within me has grown to levels unforeseen my delectation's off the charts. You're what? I stand here gazing at a sea of slate wiped clean. And I know you know the cause of the joy inside my heart. See how simple things can be, devoid of enmity. The endless gift of fraternity. Sweet embrace of comedy. Are the vast treasures of vanity. Let's not lose our minds here, though I do have to admit, this is so much easier than the fight. As Gore would like you, big guy likes kids, even though he doesn't have any of his own, explains how he's still around. Lost monsters like him stop aging without children. We, the very sound makes me free. My dread exchange with glee. A soul warming mug of tea. Three, with love the referee. And faith the addressee. With hate the absentee. Seriously, if you heard ask or I'll use your dust to make pancakes. Yeah, human funerals are cool with their power to bring motorcycle gangs together. Monster funerals are pretty cool too. Monsters turn to dust when they die and sprinkle it on what they love in This life. is a very macabre subject for friendship. Unity, cordiality, and camaraderie. There's nothing one cannot foresee submerged in Joe. of conviviality No need for countermeasures with amity uh, Hey punk I should probably apologize for what I did I guess there's no good reason to try and kill a kid Can you ever forgive me? I understand Friend or not Probably feel the same. I say we cook French pasta to celebrate. Let's burn the whole house to the ground. Make it so that only fire, fire lives here. Unite our souls against the healthy ingredients. The harder you stir, the better the spaghetti. The higher the heat, the better the sauce. Let the stovetop symbolize your passion. Turn your hopes and dreams into a blazing flame. Yeah, noodles! Oh, ow, that the cake is for getting awesome. right in the elbow ow, macaroni. Ow, that broke Sweet. Woo! Destroy those yeah. tomatoes. Yeah! Call awesome. the fire to beat all your mother falcon. Okay, maybe I'm happy. Two of us made amends. What do you say, punk? Friends? What's the matter? Hey, was it something I said? You can come back, the pasta's almost finished What's gotten into you? Human, there's nothing The power of friendship can cannot solve without my armor Leave them to me, run quick!
how is butterscotch cinnamon not your favorite? <laughs> I'm allergic to cinnamon, remember? Oh yeah, I keep forgetting. Remember that time it was so good you ate it anyway. <laughs> I can't believe it's been a whole year. Everything feels so different. It feels like you've always been here and you've gotten so much better. Um. I know sometimes down deep inside there's things that you don't show and I'm always here but even through the years there's things I It is. You must 
hate me. No, we don't. I'll hurt you. It's cool. 